Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you guys are having a great Saturday. And thank you so much for joining me talking all things Masters of the Universe. Today in the channel, I thought it would be kind of fun to look at all the iconic vehicles that have come out so far in the Origins line. Alright, we'll look at each and every one of them uh, throughout the week. And there's been quite a few here, guys, but there's hopefully more to come uh, because we have Night Starker coming very soon. Uh, we saw that image of Bashirsaurus on the front of Eternia. Maybe that's a nod of a vehicle maybe coming very soon. Maybe we'll get the, you know, the um, attack track and the battle ram too at some point on our journey to the Origins line. All right. So here are the vehicles so far that have been released um, in the Origins line. Starting off, we have, we have Stridor right there. Of course, we have the iconic Wind Raider to the Ground Ripper or Road Ripper, if you wish to call it. There it is. To the Sky Sled, which will be the main focus of today's review. We'll look at the you know the packaging, the artwork. Um, I do have two versions of this of the uh, Sky Sled, uh, one good and bad. Then we have, of course, the Talon Fighter, and then we have the Roton. All right. And then finally we have Land Shark. And of course throughout the week, guys, if I do get a new figure in, um, we'll, of course we'll look at that figure, you know, um, very closely. We'll do a review on that figure and we'll come back and forth. So it'll be like a back and forth type of reviews here, you know, doing some vehicle reviews, you know, and some new figure review, uh, reviews once I do get new figures in the line, okay? But there's all right, I, I believe these are all the figures, I believe, the vehicles and stuff like that. Alright, but you know, real fast guys, I'm going to give you my, you know, right now, I'm going to give you my thoughts right now on everything that's happening right now with, you know, Mattel and how I'm feeling they're handling the situation. I really feel that they're like dropping the ball right now, guys, and this whole, you know, rock on delay thing, you know, and just adding, you know, more of, of the fuel to the fire here, you know, that, you know, being delayed like you know at least it's a, a delay right now I'm, I'm like you guys i'm kind of irritated by that and kind of mad about that that you know they had to wait to the very last minute i mean I, I guess you know at least they found the problem i guess um you know with this you know whole shipping thing but i wish they would have found it a little bit earlier in the week instead of like within hours of the actual you know um deadline of the pre-order to happen now we have to wait a few more like but it's just, it's just a delay you know not a full cancellation so it, that's fine okay for me that's fine all right but i'm not going to go on a full on rant here guys because i, I want to talk about you know vehicles and stuff like that and try to be positive here but you know and i just watched this great video on youtube and i'm going to link the 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 video or at least the the name of the video and the creator of the video in the description below and if you have not watched this before yet, and I watched it because this video, I feel, feel me personally, it nails it. You know, he nails a lot of points, you know, um, a lot of, you know, about Mattel and, and the origins. And, he, and I guess the Master, Masterverse, Master of the Universe as a whole right now. And the name of the title is called Mattel Dropped the Ball on Motu Origins. And the creator, if you don't, his name is Uncle Tim Rants in Reviews. Okay, I'm gonna like leave the description below, and I would watch. I would recommend watching this video, guys, because I think he nails it. For me personally, and there's a lot of things he says that are I feel like you know has a lot of truth to it. Okay, the fact that you know there is no new figures out there anymore. You know, for Origins and Masterverse, and the only figures that we do see you know on the shelves have been on the shelves for the past two to three years. You know, like figures like Mini Comic Book Stratos, you know, or Buzz Off, or Jitsu. You know, um, as far as Masterverse figures are concerned, there's nothing. There's nothing, no, no new figures at all, at all, um, except, you know, for Ar Andrea and Fisto. And those figures have been out since 2021. So there's no consistency. There's no new figures. You know, all we see is the old figures. No new, no Turtles of Grayskull line yet. You know, nothing. There's absolutely nothing at all, you know. And it's really, you know, it's pissed, I mean, I, I, it's pissing me off. You know, it's really making me upset. Because I love the Origins brand, you know, you know, the Origins brand has got me back into collecting. You know, it's an amazing brand. You know, even the Masters brand is, you know, is a great brand too to collect. But there's no, there's nothing. There's absolutely nothing on the shelves anymore. You know, I, no Turtles Grey Skull, no cartoon collection, nothing, absolutely nothing. You know, and it's getting really to the point where 
you know, if you want the newest figure, you know, I'm sure a lot of you already know this, but anybody who's new to this, you know, you know, for the Master Universe, if you want the latest figure, you know, in the, in the, in your collection, you know, of course, you know, don't rely on retail, okay, you might strike gold occasionally, and might have something new, and, and, and you get, but for the most part, if you want that latest figure, guys, you know, get it all online, okay, places like, you know, Big Bad Toy Store, Entertainment Earth, Amazon, hell, even go on eBay, you know, I would, you know, I would go on eBay, you know, if I had to, to get the latest figure, you know, you know, and, and don't rely on, you know, on, on, you know, retail for that latest figure, because I have no idea, it, it, this is ridiculous now, I mean, it's crazy that, you know, you go to your local, you know, Target, and all you have is, like, you know, Andrea, and for me, I have Andrea and Fisto, that's it, there's nothing else, no other Masterverse figures, you know, at all, you know, um, I never got my second, you know, um, uh, Sunman three pack, you know, that Target exclusive. It never showed up to my Target. It never, I, I don't, I don't know where it's at, when it's coming. You know, Walmart now has his massive, you know, reissue of Moss Man figures that's become. You know, I think he came out what three or four months ago, and now he's gonna probably be the one of the biggest peg warmers out there because there's like thirty of him on the shelves now. Like we, we don't really need all that. You know, it's just stuff like that, and it's really frustrating here. And I, I, know, I know I'm not trying to go on a rant here, guys, because I want to talk about, you know, you know, having some, some positivity and, you know, talk about these vehicles, these amazing vehicles of the Origins line. But I would just recommend you watching this video, guys, um, the, the, from Uncle Tim Rants and Reviews. Check him out, guys, because I've said, like, he, he nails it. He, you know, gives you a lot of like, pointers, I mean, not pointers, but really a lot of focus things that I'm sure that you all have thought about, you know. And we would probably agree with on, on a lot of the things he talks about. So, like I said, please go check him out, guys, on this channel. All right? And um, <clears throat> watch it. And I hope you will, you know, you know, give your thoughts as well. Because, it, you know, it's a really good video, guys. All right? So, thank you for that, guys. All right? Now, on to the, to the video here, guys, of, you know, Sky Sled. And, you know, hopefully, you know, um, with... I hope within four days or so, you know, it will fix the problem with car, as far as Rock On is concerned. You know, let's we'll see what happens here. I guess with, it will, within four days, this is this problem with the international shipping will resolve itself. And if it doesn't, then what? Do we get pushed back even more days? You know, I'm just curious about that too. Is you know, but it's but I mean, let's just talk about the 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 um the sky sled now, guys. So thank you once again, guys, for let me you know voice my my feelings and stuff like that you know uh, like you guys i'm just kind of frustrated right now with the whole origin situation the whole master's situation you know because it's it is an amazing brand you know and i just i'm but okay i'm sorry guys but we'll we'll talk about sky sled now guys so thank you once again guys for understanding and letting me you know voice you know uh my feelings on this okay so let's look at sky sled and get these guys out of the way Now you already know how I feel about Sky Sled, okay? Now it's a it's a great vehicle, but of course, you know it would have been better if they had the you know the um, battle ram included with the Sky Sled. So there he is. Now this is one. This is the first vehicle that ever came out in the Origins line. You got the Master Universe Prince Adam right there, the Sky Powered Rocket Rescue Rocket right there. Got the Roton and some evil. Uh, Sky Sled figures with Trap Jaw and Faker and Prince Adam right there. New for 20, so it came out four years ago. Some random people here. I'm not sure who exactly is that, who that is, but all right, one of the maybe Palace Guards, maybe uh, Man at Arms. And there's a there's the rocket, there's the Sky Sled right there. Comes with extra extra uh, head right there. You're gonna have a good Sky Sled or the bad guy Sky Sled. Uh, power blast, little uh, decals of good or bad. You have the bad guys decals right there. And it comes with the good guys right there. A, a cool flight stand. Uh, Prince Adam, which I feel kind of misplaced. You know, I've said this before. You know, Prince Adam, you know, is cool to have, but I wish he had a single card figure of him. And as you can see, you know, he doesn't have that iconic um, soft good shirt. You know, that's another thing. You know, they should not, I mean, it's cool to have him. Um, why pick Prince Adam as, you know, as it could have been a thousand characters you could have used, 
you know, if you wish to, you know, do a character, um, to give the Sky Sled, I'm not sure why exactly Prince Adam, um, I mean, he's, he's cool and all that, but, you know, it would have been nice to get him in his more single-carded figure, uh, with that real soft good shirt right there, and give us a full battle ram, you know, um, we might still get the battle ram, you know, um, but yeah, but there's Prince Adam right there, it's above here, you got some, two vehicles and one right there, really cool. There's Gray Skull and, and Stratos right there. The Murder Man and some sort of evil orc right there. I'm not too sure. I can't really focus exactly who the character is blasting. I don't think that's Sorceress. So I'm not sure exactly who that would be. But it looks pretty cool. Alright. Then flip around to the back. See some beautiful artwork right there. I mean, top notch. Gorgeous artwork right there from, you know, from Mattel. Alright. Of course, it's very easy to swipe out the heads. It pops it off or it even comes right on. Very easy. Of course, the cross sell, because this came out during wave one of the Origins line. Alright. Back around. Oh, we got Beast Man right there and Tila. So, you know, beautiful artwork here, you know. And I do have two loose versions of the Sky Sled. I got one with Adam here. There he is. You know, this thing does move around right there. This can be popped off to either give it, you know, the good side or the bad side head right there. Uh, this has not come out. Uh, But very cool. Of course, I have the other version. I, I, I got a separate uh, single version, or I mean, a, a separate um, uh, Sky Sled. And there's the good, there's the bad side right there. It has more of a, like a snake or a dragon, looks like. And here I have, I have Merman. But overall, I mean, it's a cool vehicle. You know, I'm glad having the collection. You know, it's a lot of fun to have to display and, you know, have it, you know, around your Snake Mountain or your Grey Skull or even your, you know, your new Eternia uh, line. And that's another thing about Mattel, too. You know, and how real fast, guys, and, and I'm trying to, you know, I'll make it quick, is that, you know, with the whole Eternia situation, you know, and a lot of people's Eternia is coming, they're damaged. And people are, like, contacting Mattel, like, hey, you know, our, this part of our attorney I got damaged. Can we get a, a, a new piece, you know? And basically Mattel, you know, and I'm trying, you know, it's saying like, well, okay, uh, what you need to do is, you know, bring back the entire attorney play set and we will we'll fund your money, you know? I mean, people are like paying a lot of, you know, first of all, that's not what people want. People just want this part that, you know, broke or got damaged in, in the shipping, and that's all they want. They don't want a full refund, okay? People are paying a lot of money for this attorney of play set, including shipping, you know, and they expect it to be delivered, you know, in pristine condition, you know, so they can enjoy it with their friends and family, you know, and all they're asking, you know, is this one part and maybe got damaged. And they're just asking for, you know, this piece to be you know, replaced. Not the, not the whole, not to send back the entire play set and get a full refund. No, they want that part re replaced. And so they can get it and, you know, put it together and enjoy it, you know. And so Mattel's answer to that is like, well, it's either, you, you know, you get what you get or you don't, you know. So, and that's another thing, you know, Mattel really needs to, you know, you know, um, you know, do the right thing, you know. And I hope they are trying to do the right thing. And I, I hope if people, you know, you know, Attorney of Playset was damaged. I hope Mattel will be able to, you know, find a way to get that part, you know, um, re like refixed and reissued to the these, you know, uh, collectors who had damaged Eternias and stuff like that, and not ask for a full refund, you know. So that's my thoughts too about Mattel. You know how they were handling, you know, some of the um, 
you turn to a place that's damaged, you know, some boxes are crushed, you know, or mangled, and so, and for the most part, I'm sure maybe a lot of the places are fine, but except for a few pieces, and I just, I just hope Mattel will do the right thing, all right? But back to the actual uh, looking of these vehicles, guys, all right? But, I mean, as far as the sky sled, I mean, it's cool. I wish, it, like I said, I wish the, the battle ram, the battle ram um, was a part of this. Man, it's been four years, too, guys, since, you know, the first vehicle, which was the Sky Sled, which is incredible. Sure, I'm sure I've asked you, you know, lots of times about the Sky Sled and how you feel about it and stuff like that. You know, do you like it? Like, well, you know, the, 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 um, the, the flight stand is really cool, but would you prefer the flight stand or would you actually want, want, want to have it with the whole Battle Ram situation, like the Benji's 80s version and stuff like that? So let me know, guys, you know, or both. You know, I wish there was a way they we can get, we had, had both, you know, have the Sky Sled with the flight stand and with the Battle Ram, me personally. I think they could have found a way to do that, you know. Uh, how do you feel about Adam, too, being included in this in this particular uh, piece of you know this vehicle here. Did you do you like Adam here or like me? Do you feel like Adam should have been a single carded figure in the toy line? You know, so let me know, guys. All right, but there you guys. There's a look right there of the Sky Sled, the very first you know uh, iconic vehicle in the world of the Mass Universe. All right. All in all, it's a great vehicle. You know, I love the, the, how it can be displayed. And it looks like it's in flight, and you can have it around your gray skull, like I said, in your Snake Mountain or your Turnia. Uh, you know, loosely, it looks really cool. I like the fact too, for the most part, a lot of the vehicles are the stickers are already included, already on the the the, um, the ships and stuff like that. That's a nice little touch there. What's you know, I remember that in the Benches line, uh, you had to put the stickers you on yourselves, and I hate putting stickers on. That's why you know it's kind of weird too, real fast. Is that you know all the vehicles the stickers are already included on the vehicles, which is nice. But as far as the playsets are concerned, like Gray Skull and Snake Mountain and Eternia, you have to put the stickers on yourself. So I think that would be kind of nice um, if Mattel would have given it do do that as well. I mean, I'm not trying to be spoiled spoiled here, but I think that would have been you know it would be kind of it would be nice you know if Mattel could find a way to do that for us too, um, because I hate putting stickers on vehicles and playsets. It's it's awful, you know. I, I, for me personally, I kind of be perfect, you know, um, and if I make that one mistake and I try to redo it, it, it rips and then it, the, and the sticker's ruined. So, <laughs> so there's that, but overall, it's a great vehicle, uh, must have in, in your Origins collection, guys, and I hope you do have a few of them in your collection. Um, they're amazing vehicles. I love the flight stand. I love the look of them. I just wish it was included with the battle ram, you know. And, you know, that iconic Battle Ram to have. And maybe we'll still get that Battle Ram um, in some point in the Origins collection. Um, but but it's still a great vehicle, guys. All right, guys. I'd like to take the time now to thank my subscribers. If you made it this far in the video, have not subscribed, please subscribe, guys. I love talking with you guys. All things Masters of the Universe. Okay, like the Origins line here. Like the Masters line. To the CGI line. All right. Um, to the Turtles of Grey Skull. All right to the cartoon collection as well um hit that like button and thank you for doing that guys hitting that like button it means a lot it helps my channel to get out there to grow and hoping for more people to watch my videos as well and to subscribe as well so hitting that like button i want to say thank you for doing that all right and hit that notification bell when you know i'll upload new videos all right and we'll look at another iconic vehicle in the world of the origins line okay i'm not too sure uh, maybe i'll uh, look at the wind raider a, a, a very iconic uh, and beloved vehicle, you know, one I absolutely love from the Filmation cartoon. All right, I can't wait to we'll look at the um, the vintage and origins uh, Wind Raider tomorrow. Okay, and also throughout the week, if I do get a new figure coming in, um, we'll take a look at that figure as well. All right, and also don't forget about that video, guys, from Uncle Tim uh, uh, rants and reviews. All right, all right. Um, of course, share this video. Who has a passion and a love? for collecting all things 
Masters of the Universe, which could be the Origins line, the Masters line, the 80s line, the classics, Mondo, you know, the Masterverse, the CGI, Turtles and Grayskull, even the Masters of the WV Universe as well is another He-Man-esque line that came out, all right? To the CGI, to 2000X, to Super 7, to a new adventures of He-Man, you know, I mean, over 40 amazing years of this incredible product, guys, all right? And I love talking with you guys, all right? So, guys, I hope you guys have a great Saturday, and I'll see you guys on Sunday. Take care, guys, and have a good one.